Hello out there to you. In this AP micro practice problem, we've got a monopoly. Uh, the company's called Eyes On. We've been given their uh, demand curve. We have their marginal revenue. We have marginal cost. We have average total cost and average variable cost. As always, if you want to use this as practice, you can pause the video before I go over the answers uh, and then see if you're right. That's a good way to, to practice everything that you're working on. So a couple of things here. This is often abbreviated as average total cost. This is often abbreviated as marginal cost. This is often average variable cost and this is often marginal revenue. So in case you're kind of new to this and you see these uh, shortened acronyms of things, uh, that'll help you, I think, make sense of what's going on. Okay, so identify the quantity uh, that maximizes their profit. So this is a quantity where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. That gives us our profit maximizing quantity. So what you could go, you could start up at marginal revenue and follow it down to where it hits marginal cost and stop there. Or you could start out at marginal cost and follow it up to where it hits marginal revenue. Either way, uh, you get that answer. And uh, that quantity is right here. It's 33. So that's the quantity that maximizes their profit because that's where MR equals MC. However, that's not going to be the price. The price, they're going to mark up the price. They say to themselves, was the highest price that we can charge and sell 33 units and that's 32 so the the price there profit maximizing price is going to be 32 the quantity is 33 and the next question asks are they earning a positive profit negative economic profit or zero economic profit they are earning a positive profit because price is greater than average total cost. So that's that's good. If you were asked to shade the pro the profit, um, which we're not asked to do, but just in case, we want to start up here. And then we're going to follow it down to where that hits average total cost. So that orange kind of like right there. A little bit a little bit crooked, but right here, right? So it's the distance between here and here. We don't have that number right there, so we can't exactly say what the profit is, but we know they're earning a profit because price is higher than average total cost. Uh, calculate the total revenue if they produce the allocatively efficient quantity. Total revenue is a formula that you need to memorize. It's price times quantity. Allocative efficiency, this is where demand equals marginal cost, and the reason it's efficient is because there's no dead weight loss when you produce there okay so monopolist here at its profit maximizing point is not allocatively efficient because we didn't produce the 44 units so for that we're just going to multiply 44 times 27 some kind of big number 44 times 27 it is 1188 so in this case it's 1188 and this is in dollars that is total revenue if they produce 44 units. At a price of 10, will it produce or shut down in the in the short run? So before we answer this question, um, it will always produce if, um, let's say it this way, we'll say they will, if price is greater than average variable cost, it will produce. Okay, this is known as the shutdown rule. And then if the price falls below average variable cost, then it should shut down. Okay, so that's what that's asking about. Uh, let's see, $10. Uh, yes, it will shut down because uh, 10 is less than average variable cost, uh, which would be somewhere above, above there. Um, so, uh, the, the minimum of average variable cost is 12. Okay, so 10 is less than 12. So yes, it would shut down. All right, assume that 44 units, the average total cost is 22. Okay, uh, if the total wages, if the total wages paid by eyes on increase by one by 220, calculate the new 
the firm's new average total cost at that output. Okay. So what we can do is we can multiply 44 uh, times 22 because average total cost times the quantity that you produce gives you the total cost. And then we can just add uh, 220 because they're saying the total wages. Okay. So 44 times 22. And then we're just going to add 220. And oh, look at that. We get. Um, we get the oh the new firm's average total cost. Okay, well that's the this is the total cost. Okay, so it's one one uh, eight eight, and then the the average. Uh, so this this right here this is total cost, and then if we want average total cost, we need to divide uh, that total cost by the quantity. That'll give us average total cost. So it'd be one one eight eight divided by forty four. And we get 27. So then the new average total cost would be 27 for that answer. Okay. And that's how to take apart that question, AP practice question. This is very similar to what you'll find as a FRQ on the macro, or the micro exam, sorry.